What up, YouTube dudes? Is you guys ready, man? We got the Dave Chappelle Show. Episode 1, Season... No, Episode 2, Season 1. If you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you check the playlist, because this is Part 1. And there's going to be two parts to this. So make sure you watch Part 2 for the whole video. Let's go. Chappelle Show. Let's start the show. Chappelle Show. Give it up right now for my man, Dave Chappelle. Oh, yes. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, everybody, have a seat, man. Let's, let's all relax. Thanks for coming back. Welcome to uh, Chappelle Show. You know, we've been getting a little flack in the press. I don't know if you guys have seen some of the things that were written calling us controversial, which I was surprised about. That's the thing about being on TV. You just never can say what you want to say, man. Because if I said everything I thought, it would just freak America out. You, you wouldn't want to hear a young black dude saying half the things I'd be thinking. The only way people would listen to stuff, I think, is if a pretty white girl sang my thoughts. <laughs> and I actually happen to have a pretty white girl here. Pretty Hello? white girl, come on out. She's in my contract. <laughs> She's in the contract. You know, white woman. Really Thank you for She's being here. Property? I have some things I need to get off my chest. invented and distributed to intentionally destroy the black community. <laughs> AIDS was too. <laughs> the police never looked for Tupac and Biggie's murderers. Did they say Tupac? Whatever happened to that recount in Florida? OJ didn't do it. Uh, yeah, he did. I mean, I don't care, <laughs> but he did do it. Though. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did that shit. I mean, that's your prerogative, whatever you like Unless is what you like, though, I guess. But I don't. Damn. But you can't say that out loud. You'll get in trouble. I do too. I love them. They're the best. I like that's the only one I want to watch. It's on, that's the only point really I like. I like lesbians. But I digress from my point. All Chinese people look alike. Racist. So do white people. Look at that white Pretty dude. Pretty much anyone who isn't black <laughs> looks alike to me. I want to stick my thumb in J Lo's butt. Oh, why? I don't want to put my thumb up no woman's butt. That just doesn't appease me. I wouldn't mind sticking a finger or two up that singing white girl's butt either. <laughs> Call me her my cell, 917. Damn. She kept it. And now it's time to collect ad revenue for Comedy Central. 
I don't like this bit. I mean, it was okay, but definitely wasn't, wasn't one of his best ones. They're giving you a nice penny on this show. Real no sex, sex street, street interview three way with these two guys in college and my sorority sisters were like two of me. Yeah. That'd be it. That'd be it. What about you, sir? <laughs> Crazy thing I ever did sexually? They'd probably be having sex with old gangbang here without a rubber. Nasty bitch. It's fucking done, man. The state is over. Wait a minute. Hold, hold. Wait, hold. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Two guys, nigga, why is your homegirl who's watching and cheering you on? Like, I don't even know that. You know, uh, we're done. In the quest to get paid, I have devised a new scheme, ladies and gentlemen, which is not an easy thing to do, but I got it. I'm going to have my own phone line, like Miss Cleo. You understand? Ooh, that's money. Ms. But Cleo. I'm going to do mine real. See? Miss Cleo lies. She's phony. She's got a nagging suspicion that. But that bitch ain't Jamaican. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I couldn't prove it. But check mine out. Dave Chappelle's educated guest line. <laughs> Dave Chappelle is not a psychic. He is merely a racist who believes that stereotypes dictate our futures. My boyfriend says my butt's too big. Why would he say that? My old boyfriend liked it just fine. Okay. Okay, have you gained weight? No. Okay, so so your current boyfriend is white. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, your old boyfriend's black, ain't it? Oh my god, how did you know that? Because a brother can't get enough of that ass. Hold up, I'm seeing something. They do like a fat ass. It's your parents. Oh god. They're angry. Real angry. They kicked you out for dating a black dude, didn't they? Oh my god, there's no way you could have known that unless you knew me. Or if I dated four white girls myself. Thanks for playing. Dave Chappelle's insights Is that true, will astound you. Bueno, is this Dave Chappelle? All right, I'm, I'm hearing an accent. You from south of the border? You amaze me, man. Oh, hold on that. Is, is your name Miguel? It is. Bam! All right, all right, go ahead, though. So, Dali, I was driving on the freeway. Stop. Driving. You drive a pickup truck, don't you, Miguel? Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Come on with the stereotype. You don't have insurance, do you? <laughs> no. It's funny as fuck. Sometimes they will talk with a phony baloney Jamaican accent. The cats don't lie. Out of mercy. <laughs> Collect call from a correctional facility. No, I'm mercy. Accept the charges. Yes, I will. Go ahead, sir. All right. Before you even say anything, you black, ain't you? Yo, this nigga is off the hook. Wait a minute. I see something. <laughs> You getting out of jail? Say words, son. You walking out, you Say a bird words, is a bird. Son. Hold up. I'm uh -huh. seeing some. It's six weeks later. Uh -huh. You going right back in the jail for the same shit. What kind of fight? Call this number now and let Dave for or the one same of his educated officers tell you your future. It's only 99 cents for the first minute, 250 each additional minute. You can't afford not to have your future read based on stereotypes. Call me now for a bumper clock reading. It's not a Hey, y'all. Flippity flap, flippity float, flippity fleet. Here goes some jokes. Flippity flap. years before, <laughs> watch celebrities accepting awards get played off by the house orchestra when their speech runs on too long. Man, shut up. My parents were really disappointed when I dropped out of school for that year, but I felt like I really just needed to find myself. Word. But then, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me just go to Howard like my father, you know? Well, then my girlfriend, Gina, she called me up. She said, girl, you have got to get down to Emory, down to Hotland. I was like, Gina, number one, why are you calling me up trying to confuse me? You know Spellman's in Atlanta, too. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here trying to... With the Wrap It Up box, you've got that same power right in your pocket. So then I just went to Howard where I majored in sociology and made a lot of friends and had a really good time. So that was college, how about you? <laughs> From the makers Who of the future so long, bitch? comes Man. the Wrap It Up box. It's like being the director of an award show every day. I'll be like that too. Go. The older I'll be getting, the more I'll be wanting to hear long ass Young man, you've been found guilty yeah. by a jury of your peers. The crime you've committed was very serious. And before I sentence you, I'd like to say a few words about your arrest record. 
What the hell? Yo, the sign is real simple, B. It says wrap it up. Wrap that shit up, B. I don't think that's a good idea. Man, you want some too? You better wrap it up. You better wrap that gavel up, B. What are you talking about? So I was telling you. So oh, let's put your hands on her. Up, box. <laughs> Things will come to an end at the perfect time. Whenever you want them to. I'm going to rock it tonight. Have you ever felt this one come alive? It's going to be quite a journey, girl. Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Sight, sight, guys, that it ain't over. For real? Not even close? Not even close. Hold on now. Hang in there with me. About that. Hey, can you read? Wrap it up. You need to wrap it up. Oh, oh, oh. That's a rat. Fuck this. How dare she do that shit to this man? Stores now available at all Walmart. Stop skipping your remedial class. It's the finals you're gonna need it to pass, and you don't need these big Brooklyn feet on your ass to keep my name out your mouth and your mind on your task. And if you think that I'm talking about chewing these balls, if the shoe fits, shut the fuck up and walk it off. It's Brooklyn.